Hey, how's it going? So, I just finished capturing all the footage from my DVD collection epic update of epicness and realized that, well, it's a little too epic to divide into the number of parts I had originally conceived. It was originally going to be three parts. Three, count them, three. But then I realized each part was going to be somewhere in the vicinity, vicinity of 20 to 30 minutes in length. And as much as I know most of you don't mind my longer videos, like when it's a rant and stuff, and you'd probably enjoy sitting through all that, I know there's also quite a few of you who prefer not to devote so much time to me in one fell swoop, so I've decided that I'm going to chop it up into smaller, more easily digestible episodes. So you'll notice that they will tend to end rather abruptly, <laughs> with a quick fade to black and then to be continued on to the next part, whatever. Um, that's because they were not originally intended to be split up in those parts. You may have noticed the last part ended rather abruptly, and well, some of them will. Also, you're going to notice that I mention, well, I'm going to have to do a second part when you're probably on part three or four. Um, yeah, just disregard any mentions like that. The only thing you need to worry about as far as numbering goes, if you really care about what part you're on, just pay attention to the title at the beginning and it'll tell you where you're at. <laughs> so anyway, without any further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy part two. This one you can pay attention to because it really is part two. Part two of my DVD collection on the Multimedia Chronicles. Enjoy. So, okay, so now everything else is organized more or less by genre, because I like to do it that way, and I think it's, it's a good way to do it. So here we have sort of my independent directors who made it big section. We've got the Kevin Smith Collection, Clerks, Clerks Animated Series, Mallrats, 10th Anniversary Edition, Chasing Amy Criterion, Dogma Special Edition, Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back Special Edition, Jane and Silent Bob do Degrassi. I don't know how many of you know about this one. Degrassi, the, uh, you know, Degrassi is like the Canadian teen angst epic saga. And uh, <coughs> apparently Kevin Smith's a big fan and got to do a few episodes of that. And of course Clerks 2. And then we've got Quentin Tarantino. I've got Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill. No, I don't have Reservoir Dogs. I still haven't seen Reservoir Dogs. Can you believe that? Yeah, I know, for shame. Then we've got the Robert Rodriguez collection. I put them with Quentin Tarantino because they tend to work together a lot. So we got the Mexico Trilogy, which is awesome. The Super Duper Edition of Sin City. Uh, then we've got uh, Natural Born Killers, Oliver Stone version. The Director's Cut, which, of course, is excellent. Time Code, which is a really cool movie that's all done in split screen. Very underrated, I think. The Director's Cut of The Professional, Super Duper Edition. You'll notice most DVDs that I buy will be whatever the best edition is. I don't like to have plain Jane movie only editions because I find the making ofs and behind the scenes stuff just as interesting as the movie, often more so. So I like to get the super edition of whatever it is. So. For the time being, as far as I'm aware, all the editions I have, of most of my movies anyway, are the best editions out there. And then we got some other stuff. This is my little foreign movie section. I got La Femme Nikita, the original French version. Run Little Run, of course, which is just awesome. Uh, this is the widescreen edition, by the way. It's another thing I do is I only buy widescreen for movies, um, which is hard to find. The full screen edition seems to be more easily obtainable. Battle Royale which was actually recommended to me by Anthony Lynch over on Stickham, and I tracked down the <laughs> the uncut special edition, which is apparently the best one to get. Um, Avalon, which is really good, I mentioned in my previous video. Ron, classic Kurosawa, Kurosawa film. The Last Samurai, which is kind of like Dances with Wolves with Samurais. Black Hawk Down, three disc deluxe edition. This is the best edition of the movie to get because it has the most extras, but there is also an extended version out there, which pissed me off, so I have to track that one down. Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier. This has the, the original theatrical version and the Redux version. Dances with Wolves, the four-hour version. Um, shit, why isn't that going in there? Damn it. I hate these flaps. They get caught on everything. 
Duel is a great movie. It's actually Steven Spielberg's feature film debut. Oh, damn it, another flap. Ah, hang on a second. Okay, mental note, don't put the flap cases all side by side. Okay, now, we got all the individual stuff out of the way. We can sort of go in chunks. Trailer Park Boys, the complete DVD collection thus far. Um, this is a big thing to get. The Monty Python's uh, Flying Circus 16-ton mega set. Contains all 45 episodes of the show and all the live shows. And then I've got, and now for something completely different, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. There's been so many special editions of this, it's ridiculous. This is the latest one, which basically has everything from the previous ones plus some of the new stuff. Life of Brian, which uh, this is the Immaculate Edition, which just came out. And finally, of course, the Meaning of Life. So to those of you who are saying, my god, why don't you have any Monty Python in your collection on my last video, I have more than made up for that now. And then of course I do have Faulty Powers as well, the complete set, which is great. Then we got the Kids in the Hall, which is, you know, many people consider to be the Canadian Monty Python. I've got the original pilot episode, special Head Crusher edition, which has lots of cool extras, and a uh, lenticular cover. Gotta like that, eh? And then the first two seasons. There was five seasons, I still have to get the last three. And then over here... We've got the original British version of The Office. We've got the Pink Panther collection, which I showed you in my previous video. Doctor Strange Love, The Party. I'm going to blow through the movies really quick here. This is Spinal Tap, hilarious. So you can see I sort of have a little comedy section here. Like it goes from independent directors, foreign films, uh, comedy TV shows, uh, sort of British comedy, a little bit of Canadian comedy, some more British comedy, and then we're into comedy movies and stuff. So then we got this is Spinal Tap, we got the original MASH movie, season one of the MASH uh, TV series. The DVDs of MASH are really cool because not only are the episodes uncut, but you can turn the laugh track off. And I have to say, I highly recommend watching it without the laugh track. I think it makes it a better show. That's actually the way it was intended to be seen originally. And then we got Zoolander, Super Troopers, the Complete Police Squad Collection, which is the short-lived TV series that the Naked Gun movies were based on, and I have all of those too. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, one of my all-time favorite movies. Uncle Buck. And then we got into, uh, we're into our adult cartoon section. So here we go, we got uh, Clone High, which is great. Undergrads, great. Oblongs, great. Mission Hill. Ren and Stimpy Show, um, Dilbert, <coughs> this is a bit of a rarity, Rock and Rule, this is the uh, two disc collector set, which has two versions of the movie, not everybody knows there's two versions of this movie, but uh, little known sort of cult hit um, 80's animated film, really good, Cool World, Wizards, this is like my little Ralph Bakshi section, and Netta has Fritz the Cat, which is one of his all-time greats. Lens cleaner disc. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got American Dad Volume 1. I'm not going to bother with all the Family Guys, because I'm sure you've seen them before. All the Family Guys, up to Blue Harvest. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's the Collector's Edition of Family Guy Volume 4, which uh, contains some art cards and uh, sketches. And then I've got the Complete Futurama Collection, all four volumes. I don't think this was complete the last time I showed you this. But I've got all four volumes now, and, of course, the new movie, that just came out. Bender's big score, which is great.